Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a two-in-one video. Um, I will be talking about this companion flap bag and also um, the comparison between the colors. So it's when you, when you see this current bag, um, this is in the color current, it's really, really hard to tell um, just by pictures because it's so close to brown. I would say brown in general. This is mahogany, by the way. So my Regina is in mahogany. My companion flap is in current. So before we get into that, uh, I just want to show you the reveal um, of this companion flap. And I rehabbed it um, when it got to me. Um, when it got shipped to me, it was super squished. Um, it didn't have its shape anymore. It didn't have any major uh, like wear on the corners or or anywhere else in the bag. It was in really really good condition, but I I still wanted to rehab it because I wanted it to gain its shape back. So. This is it. Um, it's got the nickel hardware. I didn't even have to rehab any of the hardware because it's nickel. So this is a plus. <laughs> Saves me so much time. Um, sideways, it's got a little bit of a stoop there. So I think that it's sh the leather shrunk or something, but it's still standing up, so I don't care. Um, at the back, it's in, like you can see the veining more clearly now. You can see those veins running vertically. And this one has the um, slip pocket at the back. And on the other side, it's got the hang tag and the front. Now inside, I just stuffed all the, um, the strap there, but as you can see, like it's a gorgeous like oxblood color. And the inside just, you know, um, zipper at the back. It's stuffed with paper right now. It's separate at the back there and just one big um, big compartment and that's it. So it's a very simple bag. It's very lightweight um, and it's very just, you know, very practical, I would say. I haven't used it yet. Um, I still have to, to use it. <laughs> I'm just finding, you know, I'm, I'm rotating my bag so often so it's going to get used one of these days. Um, so yeah, so that's my um, companion flap in current, and now this is the Regina in mahogany. So if you've seen my channel, if you've watched my videos, you've seen this a thousand times already. And this is one of the first bags that I got from of the vintage Coach line. Uh, it's got the brass hardware, and as you can see, like it's unmistakably brown. Um, there's really a tiny bit of red to it but it's not really red it's it's the best way to, to tell um if it's current or mahogany is the nap so the back side of the leather would have the true color and that's usually you can't see that when um when you're looking at pictures because not a lot of sellers take the picture of the back of the bag like why would they right um but yeah so this is the mahogany and let me show you the current So this is current, right? Just like that. And this one's mahogany. And as you can see, the current is so much redder um, side by side. So mahogany, current. And nickel hardware all the time. You're never going to find current in brass. Mahogany, you can actually find it in nickel hardware too. So it's really, really tricky when you're looking at pictures online. Sometimes there would be bags, um, mahogany style, uh, mahogany bags in certain styles that came in nickel. So you have to be careful. If you're really after current, then ask for a picture of the, the back side of the bag and then you can more clearly see um, whether or not it's really current or not. Um, I have another bag here and this is not a vintage bag. It's the, um, let me just close this. So this one is my um, classic pouch, but the reissue version. So this one I think came out in 2016. And mine is in black with like burgundy interior. So kind of like a Chanel setup here. Um, I just wanted to compare the burgundy, or I guess Oxblood now that Coach is um, saying, right? Uh, when they're describing their bags in this color. So Oxblood versus 
current. So the current is more like there, there that's true to color there. So it's very very close in color um, but the current I think has like a more orange more just more brown tone to it and this one has more of a red more of a purple so, so yes it's a good comparison this is very close to this color but really this is cooler this is still a bit more warm if that makes any sense it's really hard to describe colors like I I struggle um, when describing colors now if you really want a purple bag and I have a a Janice here in purple so the Janice is in really really dark purple it's almost like I think this is aubergine um, that's the official name of the color there's another purple similar to this that's called ink so ink and aubergine are very very similar very um, darker like it's a darker bluer tone of purple it's in that family and as you can see like it's really really like you can't even like it's not even the same color so so yeah so that's um, my video for today I just wanted to show um, you know if you're looking into um, purchasing a current bag or if you're on the hunt and you're not sure and it's really really tricky I feel ya um, it's really hard to tell <laughs> in the pictures especially if um, the seller is not has not posted good pictures then it's really hard um, another clue I think the last clue to tell if it's current or not is if when you see the Creed and it's a Costa Rica bag or if it's a United States bag that are made between and don't quote me on the on, on the year because I'm not 100% on the year um, from 98 to 99 or 99 to 2000 I think that those that's the scope that's the range of the years um, for current that those are the only years it came out so if it's Costa Rica or United States 98 99 then most likely it's current if it's got everything else checked so that's it so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, um, subscribe to my channel, and see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.